Behold, the Mercator projection. But where did it come from? Meet Gerardus Mercator, born in Flanders in 1512. Although Gerardus's family had humble origins, they prized education, and they sent Gerardus to school in Rumpelmond, where he learned religion and arithmetic. When his mother passed away, Gerardus changed his last name from Kremer to Mercator, which is Latin for merchant. He left the university early and wandered through several cities, working as an engraver, an instrument maker, and a teacher. His travels also led to his interest in geography. Combined with his mathematical talent and the European interest in cartography, it's no surprise that Gerardus began working as a map maker. But there was a problem with maps at this time. They were often woefully inaccurate. Gerardus sent out to create a map that could make the tricky process of navigation easier. Today, we call these maps Mercator projections. On a Mercator projection, Longitude, latitude, and rum lines appear in straight lines. This innovation makes it much easier for sailors to navigate using a compass. But there's a very obvious drawback. Mercator projections cannot accurately represent land masses far from the equator. Despite these terrestrial quirks, the Mercator projection's unique properties make it incredibly useful for marine navigation.